Who was that corner noise? Thank you, Dana, for passing me on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because this takes a little bit to do. So we're making, it's a cute gnome. It's a cute gnome. S using this for the fur. And the other, I think everything I have here is Dollar Tree, except maybe some beads. But I think you can get them there. So otherwise, I think everything I'm using is going to be Dollar Tree, and it's going to be adorable. It's going to look sort of like a rustic kind of gnome. So if you like rustic, stick on. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Sherry. Thanks. It's good to be on. Hello, Lori. I am feeling good. And yes, it was a blessed Easter. The kids and grandkids came over. We had Easter egg hunt. Um, kids had brought some food over. I made ham and cheesy potatoes. And it was all good. Yeah, all good. Hello, Lisa. So what I'm going to do is I want to use this for part of the beard. I am so sorry. So should I tell you the little bit of story that I had for this? I felt guilty. I had a couple of these in my cart. There's different colors. I had a couple in my cart and I was almost feeling guilty that I was going to cut this apart because it's so cute. It's, it's adorable. Um, and it's actually like embroidered eyes. So it's good for babies. And be, I was sitting there feeling guilty and another lady came up and she said, um, she was feel she she was buying one. She kept thinking, oh, that's really cute, and she was maybe going to buy one. And I told her that you know, I'm debating now. I'm just cutting along a seam. There's a seam here, and I'm just cutting along there. And once you get a little cut in there, it comes apart pretty easily. And then you're just going to do these. All right. So when that lady, you know, I said I almost feel guilty buying it and going to cut it apart. And she was buying it for a dog. So I said, well, then I don't feel so bad. If you're buying it for your dog, I can buy it for cutting it. So that's my story. Hi, Peggy. I'm glad to see you too. Oh, yeah, Jean. That's a must. That's a must in our house. Cheesy potatoes. So, and they, <laughs> they go pretty well. Hello, Shelly. All right, and I'm not going to cut this whole thing, but you can. Like, if you're going to make several of these, go ahead and cut more. I'm itching already because I'm also using some of the nautical rope. They had actually a thinner nautical rope in our state. They had the regular one and a thinner one. We're using the thinner one. So I'm, I like that. Let's see all the fiber fill here. You can say that we're going to use just a little of it, I think, but hello, Barb. Happy Monday to you too. I tell you, I am itching right now. I was playing with the nautical rope before, so I get very itchy from it, and I feel like I get it all over me, you know, and it itches all around. So that's that's my problem. I always say I think I'm allergic to dude. And all right, so I'm just gonna pull some of this out. We'll probably use a little bit, but don't throw it away. You can always use it for other things. Oh, gosh. This is not going to be a good one <laughs> if we're itching. All right. So we'll just pull. And look at it. I mean, it's really a lot. You can use it for other things. And it comes out so nice and clean. See how clean it comes out? You could save this head and use that on something. That'd be cute. All right. So all I'm going to do, I think I, I'm going to be able to do it with a leg because it's not going to be a big gnome. So I'm going to cut up this leg. And again, it's right on the seam and you can see the strings. So you just pull it apart and cut the strings and keep pulling. Hi, Kelly. It's good to see you, too. Thank you. Hi, Vicki from Wisconsin. Do you know that's where I'm from? 
What part of Wisconsin are you from, Vicki? Are you having snow? We have snow all day today. It's not enough to be sticking to the ground. I and mean, we had it on our deck this morning when we got up probably about an inch, but not enough to stick to the roads, but it has been snowing all day long. Hello, Benita. Happy Easter to you too. You would never think to do that. I know, Lori. I was feeling guilty until that lady said that, well, I'm going to buy for my dog. <laughs> so then I thought, well, if you're buying it for a dog, I'm buying it for crafting. Hello, Glenda. Yeah, it's snowing by you too. By you too, Jill. It's crazy, right? <gasps> Ooh, it feels like 18. It actually doesn't feel that cold here. It's not windy. Um, hello, Roberta, another Wisconsin. Union Grove, that's down near Milwaukee too, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do is just cut off. We only need, let me show you what I'm gonna use for the body. And then I'll show you then how much we'll need because we're just gonna use from a foot. That's so cute, right? Peat pots. Okay, and you've seen some, I don't know if you've seen it, I've seen some where you use one pea pot and wrap it around and just put a bead on it, um, but we're going to do a little bit more with it. We're going to make a cute hat for it, and um, it's, it's going to be cute. All right, so these are from the Dollar Tree, too, and we're going to use two of these. Oh, you have 50 degrees, Kathy. Yeah, you had a ton of snow. Kathy is from Alaska. Hello, Lois. All right, so this is the beard is going to go on the pea pot. So you don't need a lot of beard. So that's why I said just a foot, just one of these feet will do. I'm going to cut this piece off. And the funny thing about this, which I think is weird, is when normally I buy the uh, fake fur, it's usually, um, it, it comes off all over the place. This really honestly isn't shedding much. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this off. You usually take and you don't cut fur. Actually, I'm gonna use this one, it's the wrong one. You don't usually cut fur um, like where you just take it and cut. You usually cut along right underneath but, I, and that way that saves the length of it. So you're not cutting the fur itself, but you're not gonna see this top part. I am trying to be a little careful because if I want to use more of this, you could get a whole bunch of gnomes out of here. So by the bear, that's all we need for it. We need the, we need the hairy beard. Fur is expensive. I went into Joanne's after this and I love the, that long white fur that has all the waves in it and it's really pretty. You know how much that long fur was now? And it's full fur, $44.99 a yard. It was ridiculous. All right, that's our beard. And we're going to glue that right inside. You can pull it up to where you need it. And it's a perfect amount for a beard. Just going to glue this in here. All right. I have over 200 on here. It's that's too happy mail. Too happy mail. While I got you on too, um, I want to give back a little because a lot of people have been buying magnolia from me, the stencils and that. So for this month, I'm going to do this every month now. It doesn't matter how much you order. When I do the mystery hostess party, it's usually a $30 order. I'm going to, any order, your name is going in a hat. And the drawing at the end of this month is going to be for this. Can you imagine how cute you can decorate this up? Even just like this, this bird host. This is going in a drawing. So I, it has to be an order from my link. If you want, message me with that. Um, I didn't put a link on because this isn't a Magnolia thing. But that's what I'm giving away at the end of the month. I'm going to put all the names in a hat and do a drawing for anybody who places an order. It doesn't matter how much, okay? Um, everybody's name is going in. 
and I'll do a post for that too and I'll put a link all right to make this sturdy oh thank you Darla I appreciate it I'm just throwing some stones in here Look at this. I, I pull my stones out I grabbed a handful and I was painting on a stone one day he's going in here too and I thought if I put a little of this on here, it might give a little base, more base for this to sit on. And we are going to glue it. I don't know that that's necessary, but we're going to do that. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on these, on these stones just to hold that. I'm going to put a little on the edge. It's okay if it drips down some because you're not going to see it. Yeah, isn't it adorable? It, when I saw it, I thought, okay, I've been wanting to do this because I just appreciate all your orders. And and I'm working on a, on a trip again, so I really would like to try and do that. So I want to be able to give back, though. So that's my giving back. Any order at all, doesn't matter how much it is off of my page, will get your name in a drawing. So that's that sort. And even if you ordered already this month, your name's already going to be in the drawing. Okay, so hey, we're going to just put this in and get going. That's enough on that. I don't think I want to put him in there. He's cute. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do is take my hot glue, and I'm going to try and stick to the inside. Now, on the beard itself, it's okay if a little would come down, but I don't want a lot. So I'm going to try and stick to the inside here, and maybe some of it will stick that's all I'm thinking and put that on a little more on the pot itself yes it's a gnome we're gonna make a cute gnome this is all Dollar Tree is that the only thing I think I have on this table that is not from the Dollar Tree is, well, a button, but you can get buttons there. You can get them. I think the only thing is maybe the beads, but you might even be able to get beads at Dollar Tree too. Just add a little, you want enough to make sure it's going to stay, but we're going to be adding roping on here, so that's going to help it stay too. Hi, Marianne. All right, so stick on two. We're going to do random act of kindness drawing. We're over 200 because you guys have been spreading the word. That's awesome. So I'll do two um, happy mail uh, for the random act of kindness drawing. Okay, so that's the start of it. Oh, I got to start. I listen back and I hear myself say so a lot. I apologize. I'm going to try and do better with that. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put, I gotta put a little more in here yet. Coming up. You don't want it to come apart after you got it together. Renee, we still are getting snow. Is it snowing by you? It's still snowing here. It's crazy. I said it's not sticking to the road and it's just a light snow most of the day, but it's crazy. Yeah, isn't it a cute little gnome, Paula? All right, and we're going to just put, so these beads, these these are the ones I said, the, the ones that I have aren't Dollar Tree, but I think you can get beads at Dollar Tree. These are Hobby Lobby ones. Um, what size am I using? Use whatever size you have. I don't know that I have a size on them. So they are, I, whoop, I said the word again. They're probably about a half inch, I would guess. Probably about a half inch. The ones I'm using, though, also have the larger hole, which you're going to need because we're doing legs and arms. I'm going to, let's put this on here. Calling for snow in West Virginia. Polly, you're going to get it too? That's crazy. You're going to probably get ours. I just want to make sure I center this on here. We're going to hold it in place to make sure it stays. Oh gosh, Carolyn, tennis ball size hail. That is crazy. That is crazy. We had in, in 2020, 
um, no, in 2000, 2000, um, we had an awful storm that came through here with huge hail and it, it damaged so much around this area too. I feel so bad for them. Hello, Mary Lou. I knew that was you, all those red exclamation points. Hello, Nelda. Well, welcome, Paula. I appreciate you coming on. I hope you like what you see. All right. Cute already, right? Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Beads, I think you can get Dollar Tree. This is the nautical rope. Now they have the nautical rope at Dollar Tree that's a little bit bigger too. This one is a little bit thinner. It's called, this one is actually called decorative nautical rope. I saw they had the other kind, which is just nautical rope. This is decorative nautical rope. That's what we're using. We're gonna decorate with it today. Well, thank you for welcoming Paula on here. I like when you welcome newbies. Susan, thanks for passing me on. Right. And we're going to, now, I want legs also, so I'm going to cut off two legs to make sure we have legs. They're going to be a little longer than what we need. I'm trying to think if I need, yeah. We're going to do two legs, and we're going to do arms. And I'm going to make them plenty long and we can trim them. I just want to make sure we have enough. All right, we've got that set aside. Now this is for the hat. Let's start in the back. And I'm going to start on that seam where it's together. That's going to give that extra reinforcement. I'm just looking at where the, the bead is because I want this to be the back where it's starting. Oh, we have another um, welcome, Judy. My friend Paula on here sent me a spatula and I haven't been able to look at my other ones and she sent me a spatula. Um, that was so sweet. She sent me some Happy Meal and I haven't got to using a lot of the Happy Meal yet. I have several that sent me Happy Meal and I just appreciate it. You know, some of them say I can give for some Happy Meal, so that's good. I'm glad I'm back, Pam. Thank you. All right, and I, for now, we're gonna have the beard down and we're gonna put it right across the top. Isn't that cute? Just cute. And just do a little at a time. I am using the hot glue, the high temp hot glue, I should say. You could get away with low temp too. Probably safer. Oh, somebody else's first time watching. I missed. Welcome. You guys are shaking because my table's moving. All right, I'm going to finish closing this up and then I'm going to move it up a little bit and we're going to just keep going around the hat. And the back will be open a little bit like that. That's okay. You're not going to see the back. You're going to want the cuteness from the front. Hello, Chris. Well, welcome. I got a lot of newbies on here today. Awesome, thank you. I hope you like what you see. Like I said, this is all Dollar Tree except possibly the beads. It's not a long craft. Um, the longest was probably taking apart that teddy bear if you end up taking the whole thing apart to get the fur. <laughs> Somebody just came in the door. Hello, Debbie. I did have a good Easter. Hope you did too. Hope all of you did. It was really good. Right, let's keep going. We're going to wrap this whole 
hat. Isn't he gonna be cute? He's gonna be cute. <laughs> Mr. Crafty Servings is in here, the peanut gallery. He said, mm hmm, when I said it's gonna be cute too, because I tell him that all the time. I'll make something, I'll show it to him. I said, Isn't this cute? Mm hmm, it's cute. Hello, Leanne. Leona, I'm glad you caught me live too. Oh, thank you, Susan. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm glad you like Noah's Judy. Oh, this one, I think, is going to be just so cute. So if you didn't catch from the beginning, you'll have to go back and check. Oh, what we... Even the fur. It's Dollar Tree. If you think outside the box. <laughs> I said, I'll, I'll tell the story again about how I felt guilty buying this little teddy bear for cutting apart but then a lady came by and said oh those are cute and I told her my problem that I was feeling guilty buying it for that and she said well I'm buying it for my dog so their dog is gonna rip it apart too it's okay and there were a lot it wasn't the last one. Oh, thank you Carla I appreciate it hello Jermaine hello He is getting better, Kathy. He's being a smart aleck now. He's getting better. All right, we just keep on going. Cute, cute, cute. You could do so much with this, with decorating. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. There's so many things you could decorate this up with. Again, this is, the, it's called decorative nautical rope from Dollar Tree. They have nautical rope and they have decorative nautical rope. So this one is a little bit thinner, which I like for this project. Hi, Teresa. Hello, Laura. Oops. I'm going to go with a lot of blue today. Yes, it's a little, a little gnome. I said I've seen the gnomes on these little pea pots where it's just a half a half a pot and you put a plant in the top of it. Um, you could do that, but I wanted to do it without putting the plant in. And I thought this is a cute touch using two pea pots. Thanks, Jermaine. Karen, it is made hot glue. <laughs> um, two pea pots. The fur is from. We cut we cut it apart from the Dollar Tree. Peapot's Dollar Tree. This nautical rope do Dollar Tree. Decorative nautical rope it is called. Um, the bead. I think you can get them from Dollar Tree. Mine I had here, so I did not get that. Thank you, Teresa, for passing me on. Hello, Belle. Thanks, Darla. And we're going to finish this off now. Now you could honestly work this up higher if you wanted. I would run out of rope if I did that because I, I cut off plenty for the arm and the legs. But grab a couple of these. They certainly work. Let me just put some on top here too right away. We're going to close it off by rounding it on the top. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. This is where you have to be careful so you don't burn, but I'm just rounding it and getting it closed in on the top. Just enough. Cut this off. Thank you, Lisa. 
And we're going to put a little bit more in the middle. Be careful for the hot glue. Because it hurts. <laughs> you, you know, seeing your home, you could come and sit by me and help. I know, you're sitting here watching me. I'm right straight ahead of me here. <laughs> Don't you want to see them? Okay, and it tucks right in there. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? <laughs> Just a little decorating now. Let's do let's do the legs. We're going to, and actually, I think you only needed one length of this for the legs. And we're gonna divide it in half. So we're gonna separate it out because that's what fits in the beads. So again, we're using just a little wood beads and we want to make sure that fits in there. And these are gonna be his legs. So we're going to put two on each side. Thank you, Teresa. I missed y'all too. You would love to see him, Kathy. Kathy from Alaska would love to see you. <laughs> Paula says hi. They're all saying hi. They want to meet you. They want to, they want to meet the man who always thinks that everything I make is a Adorable. <laughs> all right, all I did was tie a knot at the bottom, and this is going to be one leg, and this is going to be our other leg. They all, Chris wants to see you. Hello, Carolyn. And the reason why I did divide one, I forgot that I have to divide it in half, is because the rope doesn't fit. The whole rope doesn't fit, so we have to do part of it. All right, and then we just tie that knot on the bottom to hold them on. These are going to be our cute little legs. Let's go ahead and put them on. We're going to lay them on like this. So this is where it's going to be very beneficial to use this little spatula. I think he's coming to say hi. Come on, chicken. They're calling you chicken. <laughs> okay, so let's just put a bunch of hot glue at the bottom here. And we're going to lay both the legs on at the same time, and I'm going to make sure they're lined up. But I'm going to like spread them apart. So that one's going to come out that way, and one's the other way. Ouch! Hi, Vicki. One of my sweet followers, Vicki, sent me one of these paddles. A lot of people had them, and I had one, and I lost it in my stash. Yeah, Cash likes to say hi. He did come on, and at the well, he didn't actually put his face here. He was too busy looking for Mr. Crafty Servings. Paula, I think he's glad he's doing a little better, too. Just once, please. That was a long please. <laughs> All right, let's do arm. Now the arm I did, this was overkill what I did on here. It, they don't need to be that long, but all right. We're also gonna separate this for the arms. And it actually comes apart really easily. Oh, I am itching so bad from this too. Really bad. And we're just gonna use one length of it and we're gonna use one on each side. Anybody else gets itchy from jute? I'm awful with it. Jute and burlap. This today is really extremely bad right now. 
Thank you, Mary Ann. Thanks, Dina. Keep commenting to Random Act of Kindness when we're done. We were on over 200 on here. Let me just make sure you pull up all those strings with it. There we go. No. It won't be. All right. You do too. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you, it is so bad right now, and I'm trying to not, not rub on my nose, but it's just so itchy for me. It's so bad. All right. It's going to come around here. Oh, I guess this is awful. <laughs> I itch. You are making me want to make one. Paula, that's awesome. Okay. Now these arms have to be a little bit shorter than what the legs are. Oh, Ida, that's a good idea. Crafting at the library for this. You sneeze for hours after. I mean, I am telling you, I need to get a tissue. I'm sorry, I'm just itching so bad. This is awful. <laughs> you know, my nose doesn't run, it just itches so bad. I am sorry. That's what jute and burlap do to me. All right, we're going to Glue this from the back. Now I want them centered again. <laughs> there. Now Cash came to say hi. He doesn't usually come to say hi in the middle of things. Right. Okay, I want it centered. So I'm just eyeballing it that way. And we're going to flip it over. Put a little dab of glue on the back here. Hold that in place. Ew. Somebody talked about allergies. Yes, you can use clay pot. You absolutely could use clay pots also. You'd have to be a little more careful so they don't break, but yes, definitely. Yeah, Cash, they're all saying hi to you now too. All right, and these are going to be trimmed up. And then I'm going to also put glue along the side here just to hold that arm up a little bit. You don't have to do it all the way. Catch, they're all saying hi. Probably heard his name called. Yeah, but I didn't say his name at first. He isn't afraid. No. He's not afraid of coming on here. Not like some people. <laughs> Let's do this side. We're almost done here. Oh, Roxanne, thank you so much for the stars. I appreciate it. Thank you, Teresa. Cute, right? Let's just do a little decoration, not much of a one. We're going to again use this jute. We'll turn him like that. Awesome, Dina. I'm glad you like it. All right. I'm going to separate out some more. We don't need all of it, but we're going to make a cute bow. And I always separate my jute anyhow, so by separating this rope, it works great. Gives that little bit of a wavy texture to it. We only need a couple of them, I think, because it's pretty small. 
Yep, on his hat. And guess what's going on top of that? And I'm going to use one for tying also. And to start with one down, with, with that down, and we're going to wrap it around. And the other side is, ends up up. Let's just see if it'll work. Yep, that's a perfect size bowl. Button. Yes, there will be a button. You're right. Thank you, Patty. And again, you could decorate this up so many ways. You could add flowers. I actually have some flowers here, but I don't know that it really needs it. But you could do little sunflowers on it. You could put a bee on it, um, those little bee buttons. Let's just start just trimming up this bowl. Oh, first, be, behind it too, just to add a little color. Now, when you use this, it will turn brown after after a while. So beware, if you don't want it to turn brown, but where this is also Dollar Tree, it's reindeer moss. We're gonna put a little bit of that behind. Normally I'll put um, some broccoli behind. We're just gonna use a little bit of this reindeer moss behind it. But it will turn brown. If you don't want it to turn brown, don't use it. I'll put that on top, and you're going to see that little bit of green then. Could make it a little beehive. Absolutely, it could look like a beehive. It sort of does, right? Okay, we're just adding a little bit. Actually, I'm going to pull it down a little more. We're going to add the bowl right on top of that then. Again, you don't have to add that in. It just adds a little something. Yes, these are the peat pots, the little peat pots that you get from the Dollar Tree. You can get them anywhere. I just wanted to call this a Dollar Tree craft. So if they're from the Dollar Tree, I did get them from there. All right, and let's add a button. These were not from the Dollar Tree, but I know you can get jars of button from the Dollar Tree. Well, I see one I want to use. The beard is from the Dollar Tree. I cut him apart. I just opened up the seams and I cut a piece out. So you could do a lot of them with this. Isn't it cute though? I felt bad doing that. All right, here's the button we're gonna add. It's gonna be really cute on here. Yes, it's a Dollar Tree teddy bear. Um, everything here is from Dollar Tree except for these beads. I think that's all. Now we could add, isn't that cute? What do you think? We could add, here, I know. We could add flowers on it. You could add, like I said, sunflowers on it. You like sitting in there. You could add, like, even, like if you had sunflowers, well, this is just, let's pop this off. That actually would be so cute in here too. Add a little pop of color. What do you think? Should we add that in there? This is from Dollar Tree too. 
Should we add that in there? What do you think? Should we add the yellow just to give it a little pop of color? I wish I had an imagination of a fuzzy bear and think no beard. <laughs> but you know what? I did it backwards this time is what can I use for a gnome beard? You know, the, so by doing it backwards is where I did it. So should I add that in? He would look cute on a patio table. Yes, he would. Perfect as he is. Yes, the flower. Anybody? No flower. Super adorable flower. I mean, you could do it either way. Honestly, you could do it either way. I think that yellow just adds a little pop without too much. Yeah, I think we just add that little pop of color in and we're going to be done. I sort of like too how this one is a, this flower is sort of spread out. like a fan shape. There. What do you think? All right. So what do you think? This cute Dollar Tree gnome. Let me just sit on here. We started with the peat pots, two peat pots. We had the Decorative nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Decorative nautical rope from Dollar Tree. So it's a little thinner than the nautical rope that they have. We used him and cut him apart. We used a little bit of the reindeer moss that they have, that green. And that's why maybe I like the idea of having that yellow there is because this green will turn brown. All right, it will turn brown. 